is our Young Doctors theme tune. We have a very special guest online, and it is Peter Pin. Okay, Peter, can you hear us, Peter? Yes, yes, but it, look, it's Pinny, not Pin. Pinny. <laughs> Pinny, it's Pinny. Hello, Peter Pin. It's better me talking to. How are you? How- I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Yeah, good, thanks. I remember that theme song so like it was yesterday. I'm sorry? I remember the theme song of The Young Doctors just like it was yesterday. Oh, yes, well, so do I. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you do. I bet yeah, you do. Yeah, so we're celebrating the uh, release on uh, video. Yeah, congratulations on the 45 years and the release of the DVD. Wow, 45 years. <laughs> oh, how about that? It's amazing that it actually happened after yeah. all this time. Yeah, I saw Karen doing the campaign about it. I'm glad that it actually um, is done for you. Yes, so am I. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> all righty. Um, Peter, I, I heard, um, let's see, we've got a list of questions here. How am I going to start with this one? <laughs> uh, you were an associate producer and script editor of The Young Doctors. And I'll That's bet you correct. Can, I can bet you can tell us some great behind-the-scenes anecdotes. <laughs> oh, I don't know that they're great, but, you know, yes, we had a lot. I must admit, I've worked on a lot of television shows in my life, but uh, Young Doctors was always my favourite. Oh, that's I loved. I loved working on the show more than any other show I've worked on. And I've worked on Neighbours, I've worked on Prisoner, I've worked on Sons and Daughters and all of them. But yeah. I enjoyed... Young Doctors more than anything else, and I think that's probably because of the camaraderie of the cast and crew. Oh, right, yeah. that's good. It, yeah. it, all, it all matters with your crew, doesn't it? It's, it's definitely well, it makes does, the work. It does, You know, if the crew, if the crew uh, is good and uh, the cast are good, and uh, then, you know, you, you get a good show, and that's why we ran for six years, I think, or seven years or something like that, you know. And I worked on... Oh, at least over 600 episodes anyway, you know. Wow. Now, I either wrote them, uh, but then I was also um, script editor for a lot of them, and I became, uh, exec, uh, you know, um, associate producer. Wow. Yeah, you, you wrote some theme tunes as well, didn't you? Yes, I did, but not for young doctors. I wrote the Sons, Sons and, and Daughters, daughters theme yeah. tunes. Yeah, right, yeah. I'm a bit of a, yeah, I'm yeah. A, bit of a uh, singer-songwriter too myself, uh, Peter. <laughs> Good. Yeah, yeah, nice well, you, you know, you know what the thrill of it's like when you hear it on television. You know, oh yeah. Um, uh, wow. When you hear a, hear your own work uh, played, you know. And I used to hear, well, I used to hear um, uh, sons and daughters every week, um, every night of the week. Uh, I think there was a period there in the 1980s when my name was on television every night of the week, including Saturdays and Sundays, and um, sometimes twice a week. So, wow. you know, what, what a feeling I, that was to be, you know? I, w- I was doing a lot of shows then, you know. Yeah. I was exhausted, of course, but I was oh, doing a lot of shows. You know, Peter, I used to watch that with my mum every day at 6.30 in Perth. Yes. In Perth, Monday to Friday, <laughs> 6.30. She used to love it. Yeah, well, you know, everybody did, I think. You yeah, know, look, it was slap great. And, it's slap and tickle in the hospital. You know, it, was, <laughs> it wasn't serious. Everybody was having an affair. And, uh, the, oh, that's probably the medical... why my mum liked it, I don't know, but I'm definitely going to get her the DVD. Sorry, I'm a bit late. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, the medical... Uh, although we did medical stories, of course, um, but they, they took back place to the what was happening to romantically the to the antics <laughs> and and every episode we had a, a we had a, a system whereby every episode had three storylines in it yes. one was dramatic one was comedic and one was romantic yeah. and uh we kept to that throughout the entire 1200 performance run i think you know um pretty well and uh, so it was very successful format yeah, Chris was saying last week um, he was the orderly in that, and they were basically the story carriers. That that sounded fun. That <laughs> yes, true, 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 true. Well, um, um, you know, he he used to gossip with Ada in the um, in, the in the reception, <laughs> and that's yeah, that's her. where a lot of the comedy happened, and yep. that's where um, 
a lot of the, as he said, you know, a, a lot of the stories used to be carried through there. <laughs> she was she was such a busy body, wasn't she? She was. <laughs> she was a great busy body. And Gwen, Gwen Plum was a great actress, really. You know, very funny, very funny. Um... But uh, she was all, she could also hand, handle drama as well. I remember when we gave her a, a very heavy drama scene whereby um, she was stuck in the elevator, stuck in the lift, and Dr Holland had to come in through the top of the lift to operate on her because oh. <laughs> she was seriously ill and the elevator broke down as she was on her way to uh, casualty or, no, that, you know... That's some the, serious um, action. <laughs> yes, yes. And Who so, played uh, Dr. Holland there? Uh, uh, Peter Loughran. That's As it. a matter of fact, my the first episode I ever wrote was the introduction of Peter Co- Holland. And in back in those days, <clears throat> um, we were encouraged, writers were encouraged to go to the studio. So I went to the studio to see it rehearsed and I met him for the first time, and I still, uh, I'm still in touch with him now. Oh, that's actually, good. You know? That's good that you keep yeah. in touch. Yeah. Yeah. It's been like 45 uh, years. I mean, later on, he went to America, and he he went in one of the daytime soaps, and he got very successful. Well, a lot of people have got very successful. I mean, let's not forget that Alan Dale was very popular in um, uh, Young Doctors before he became popular in Neighbours, and then before he went to. The, America oh, Sister Scott, and, and Sister Scott starred on as American well. television. Yeah. Sister, mm-hmm. Sister Scott, she's still going, isn't she? Who? Sister Scott? No, 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 no. I think um, Corny, Cornelia Francis, I think she died last year or somewhere. Oh, okay. Re- died recently anyway, you know. Okay. Oh, poor thing. <laughs> hey, um, you, you began your TV career during the 60s, didn't you? Yeah. And that was with, um, oh, you started off with pantomimes and stuff like that. They got all the way to do That's it. That's right. I did all of that then. You know, I mean, back in the 60s, though, there wasn't a lot of Australian drama. Uh, I was only thinking the other day, you know, I mean, um, uh, back in, in the 60s, we had the only school for actors who wanted to learn acting was at NIDA in Sydney. Yeah. And they were only interested in theatre. And the reason was, of course, we didn't have a film industry because the Renaissance hadn't started then. And we didn't have a, a television industry because that didn't get underway until late 60s when Crawford's um, sold Homicide and that became popular. Yeah. And then eventually, in the 70s, more work was being done. Now, back in the days of Young Doctors, we used to cast... Like, if we had a, um, a character in the show that was a teenager, we'd cast a teenager in that role, as opposed to Crawford in Melbourne, who were making lots of drama at the same time. They'd cast a teenager with some, someone who was 26 or 28. Yeah, and that, that's, they still you do know, that now. now. They, <laughs> they wanted the experience, but we went for the pretty face. Right. <laughs> That's the best way in it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> that's what it was like back in those days, you know. Uh, I mean, it was fun making Young Duck. It was really, really fun. I mean, um, the studio we made it out of used to be a an animation studio run by Eric Porter. Oh, right. And then yeah. um, he, he sold up. And I think that's when Nine came in and uh, then we started making Young Doctors in the studio. Well, it wasn't in the best of shape because it used to uh, leak when it rained. Yeah. And down, down the back of the studio was uh, the wardrobe area and also the makeup. And in the makeup, they used to, uh, <laughs> the floor was um, flooded <laughs> frequently in very good weather. I can imagine weather. that. <laughs> and then sometimes the studio would get flooded. Now, the studio was very uneven, so we'd have to put down oh boards to track the, the, um, to track the cameras across wow. so that they wouldn't <laughs> wobble. And another thing, too, was that um, Channel 9 weren't the best uh, network in the world to work for, uh, and the, the cameras we had 
were the initial cameras they bought when television first uh, camera uh, sorry color television first started in Australia now that was about 1972 so by the time you got down to 1978 or 77 78 uh, they were a bit old and yeah. they'd been around the block a lot so we'd have three cameras and Sister Scott would be on camera. On one camera, she her skin tones look beautiful. You look at another camera, her skin tones would be green. <laughs> yeah, and you look at that. another camera, and her skin tones would be blue. So it was a headache, an yeah. absolute headache, to, to get things to match sometimes. I remember the um, the old cardboard walls as well and stuff. If the actors closed the door a bit too hard, the walls would move or the camera would shake and stuff like that. So I remember all that, that budget stuff back then, like you say, with a change to colour too. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I but, remember. What were you sorry? Uh, and, um, you know, there were funny experiences, of course. There were funny experiences that we had. There, we... we there used to be Fred, and Fred was a stuffed calico dummy, and Fred was what we called an NS or a non-speaking character. So that if if two uh, a nurse and a doctor were having a conversation in a ward, in the background, there would be somebody in the bed, but it would be Fred, <laughs> and Fred was everywhere. So he's, so he's named him Fred, the background dummy. <laughs> Yes. Well, it sounds, like you, had, it sounds too, like you had a I, lot of fun. A lot of fun. Yes, we did have a lot of fun. Yeah. Another thing I remember too, that how nine were very difficult to work with, you know. Um, they published, um, they published, uh, or they own Consolidated Press. So, A's Kiosk, any magazine at A's Kiosk could only be Consolidated Press. And if there was another magazine there, they would kick up a stink and we'd have to reshoot the scene. Likewise, in Bunnies, where everybody went to have a drink after work, one day, uh, it was supposedly a scene at lunchtime, and there were two empty wine bottles on the table. Uh (laughs) So the, the show had all been finished and cut and... You know, they were seeing the seeing it before it went to air, and suddenly we got this call from them, frantic call from them, that we had to reshoot the scene because two bottles of wine was too much to have been shown to have drunk at lunchtime. <laughs> I can imagine that too. <laughs> yeah. So they kept a, a tight control. <laughs> well, Pete, it's like you remember it like it was yesterday. Yeah, well, yes, yeah, yes, I can, of course I can. Yeah. But then, you know, I love working on it, of course. I love yeah, well, writing it, it. I love working good. on it. And it was, we all had great fun and uh, a lot of experience. And, and a lot of talent. A lot of people went on to bigger fellow. and better things after that show. Talented fellow, aren't you? Including myself, you know. I mean, I, I did a lot more after Doctors. But, yeah, but, so... Um, what what have you been up to recently anyway? Is you you still sort of in the TV and that, are you? No, I'm not at the moment. No, no, no. What I do at the moment is I'm a reviewer, uh, a theatre reviewer. Ah. And um, I review, uh, oh, musicals, plays, opera, ballet, all of that, oh, for a magazine called Stage Whispers, which is published uh, six times a year. But we have an online presence. Ah, big right. Big online presence. And I, uh, I review for that magazine, and that's what I do now. Oh, that, that's excellent. And I excellent. like column, and they have a, 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 a you know, a, a magazine, as I say, and I write columns for that magazine. I review CDs, I review DVDs. What's the magazine called, Peter? Hmm? What's the magazine called? Stage Whispers. Okay. Yeah, and... Um, so I, I'm writing that. And last year, I um, well, wasn't last year, no, it was toward the end of the year before, I wrote um, the Australian musical from the beginning with um, uh, another author in Melbourne uh, or composer, uh, Peter Wiley Johnson. And we wrote this book about the Australian musical. Um, and that's the original Australian musical. 
and it was published by Allen and Unwin. It's a marvellous book, magnificent book, and got beautiful pictures in it and everything. That sounds brilliant. So, uh, that's what I've been working on. That sounds brilliant. That sounds like you're still working pretty hard, huh? <laughs> well, well, I am. I don't, well, I do relax, you know. <laughs> but, well, well, um, you know yeah, what I'm still about... working. I'm still working, yeah. 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 You see, you know what they say about hard work. If you enjoy your work, you never really work a day in your life, do you? No, you don't. That's that's quite correct. You yeah. don't. You know, I mean, it's a joy. Hmm. Um, you know, and, and I love this, and I have loved it all my life. You wow, know? beautiful. Well, well yeah. just... Um, that's the stuff, Peter. I was, I was just thinking, we have actually got uh, another radio host who is well into his theatre and stuff. And I'd just like to say from him, hello to you from him, it's actually Brenton. He does uh, another show during the week, and unfortunately he's yeah. not here for this interview, so I, I'd say hello to you from him. So hi from Brenton. <laughs> okay, okay. So, yeah, cause hello, he, Brenton. He was, he was actually in uh, one of the Neighbours episodes, or uh, well, more than one, uh, many years ago in the, in the years of uh, Kylie Minogue and Jason Donovan. He had a, a walk-in part. So and he's, yeah, he's ended up here. So you never know; you might have actually bumped shoulders with him at one point. I oh, could have. Who knows? Who knows? I, yeah. I've met a lot of people in my life, oh, and I've I bet. forgotten a lot, a lot of names. <laughs> uh, I'm not the best with names, I must admit. Yeah. You know, but I I have met a lot of people and worked with a lot of people too. Yeah, you know, around the world actually. You know, yeah, I'll because see my some career of the, uh... took me to the US, and um, in the nineties, I spent most of the 90s in South America, living in South America and making television programs. And, um, of course, I've worked in England and I've worked in Europe as well and Asia. So, wow. all over, really. So, well-traveled, well, well, well-traveled in the verse, as they say. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> A little bit, yeah. All righty. Okay. So, yeah, I, I, I guess that sort of wraps it up for now. And um, it's been absolutely great talking to you. And, and Pete, yes, congratulations, well, congratulations on the release of the DVD. Well done for 45 years. Yes, I'm really years. pleased to see it out on the shelves and um, I'm sure that there's going to be a big audience for it, you know, because it was always a popular show. Oh, and, um, I'm absolutely sure. It'll be sure. good to revisit it all again. Mm, Definitely. Yes, it's, it will. It's I'm good buy memories. One, I'm going to get one from my mum. Say your mother. Yes, I will say hello to my mother, uh, and thank, I'm definitely going to buy her, for me her a DVD. For watching the young doctors, yeah, being I'll, one of the our. I will say our, that to uh, her. I will. Yeah. <laughs> thanks for that, Pete. All right, okay. Thanks for that. Good. All right. Well, oh, see ya. Talk to you soon. See ya. Bye. See ya. Bye. <laughs>